In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an Oxley type beat. If you're new to this channel, do watch hit the subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and feel free to comment your thoughts on this video and future videos. Let's jump into FO Studio while I show you how to make an Oxley type beat. So for an Oxlade type beat, we're looking at a tempo of around um, 95 to 98 ish. So I'll go around and set my tempo to like 96 first. So for Oxlade, we're looking for something soft, solemn, romantic, heart touching, and um, those kind of stuff. So uh, most times it could be a soft synth, like a piano, synth key or guitar. So um, I'll, I'll go with the guitar for, for a start. If I go ahead to build my drums, I'll be using the finesse Afrobeat and Af Ama Piano pack. I dropped a couple while ago. All right, so I have this um, guitar loop I got from the finesse Afrobeat and Ama Piano guitar loops by Sean P. Lind and I. So we're going to be using this um, guitar loop as our starting point. I'll go ahead and start with percussions next because I have a foundation already. So on pattern one, let's select some nice sounds. I'm going to head over to the billboard Afrobeat hits back and select some nice one shots. Next up, let's get some shakers. Still in the billboard Afrobeat spark. I'm just gonna scroll down and look for nice shakers. So I'm just adding some nice shake handy precautions here and there. So let's go ahead and look for a nice kick that will fit this bit. Uh, I think this would do. So I'll look for a percussion and I'm going to put a band pass on that percussion loop to make it have kind of a funny sound, something like this. I'm going to put a band pass on that to make it have like a funny sound. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So let's go ahead and change the key of this guitar. And let's try to set it on stone. So I'm hearing a funny bass line. I'll go ahead and let's try that out. So I'll be using um, the Rekin Backup Bass from Contact. Go ahead and load that up. So I've selected the Dub Bass presets on the Rekin Backup Bass. Scarby Rekin Backup Bass from Contact. So let's go ahead and come up with the bass line. So I'm hearing like... um stack of horns for a part of the melody so i just added the bass and which goes along with the guitar so this is what the bass sounds like just with the guitar chords yeah so that's basically what we've done so far then with the drums So 
so I'm going to go ahead and add um, some brass stabs here and there. love to change the um the characteristics of the of the brass section just swap i think i need more of um more of trumpet i guess let's try tenor saxophone let me try the, the higher octave So let's add reverb, try to make it sound good. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, a pre-sectioning of or pre-arrangement just so I could get more ideas for melodies and stuff to add. So I'll quickly run through that. So this is my cheat code. I know my first eight bars would be my intro. Then from there, I'll move into like um, a pre-chorus. After that, I want to go into the chorus. So I do section part eight bars. After the chorus, we'll come into the verse one. This is like the generic way of arranging an Afrobeat, I guess. Yeah, then back to the pre-chorus. After the pre-chorus, we head back again into the chorus. Chorus, verse two. For this verse two, I want to make it a bit special. So I'll do like a four bar, verse two again. Pre-chorus, pre-chorus, chorus. Normally I would do uh, like a verse two bridge pre-chorus something like that then we have our outro this should round up to like about oh this is already long so i'll get rid of this pre-chorus section okay so from intro straight into chorus straight into verse one pre-chorus chorus verse two pre-chorus chorus and then our outro all right, let's get into arranging. So let me see what I can make my verse sound like. I think I'll love my verse to sound. Let's see. I intended for this part of the bass to be for the chorus, but let's let's see what we can do with it. I guess to be this bass. Then the chorus will have a bit of the energy. For the intro, let's do the intro like this. So I'm doing like a clap effect. So I'll go ahead and get and um, pick up pick this clap with our clap. So I need another effect for the transition from the chorus to something like this. So I'll look for um, an alternating guitar. So now I'm hearing soft chords. I like this already. So for the verse, I'll get rid of this, this.
so for this part, I'm hearing like a high, an, an increase in energy from the verse. Okay, that is going to lead into the chorus. So I need something that will give me like um like a piano, but in the high range. So let's look for something nice to play. A lot of omnisphere for this. So I hope you've learned something just at this point of this video. Whenever you feel stuck, spread out the whole beat and act like you're about to finish it. Then when you start listening through the whole instrument, the whole beat, you begin to realize that, oh no, something is missing here. Oh, I think this could happen here. Oh, I think this place should be silent. You, you understand? So that's what happened right now. I felt a bit stuck, but laying out the whole beat just brought, sparked in more ideas. And that's what I'm doing right now, trying to implement these ideas and putting sounds I think will fit in this beat. So let's go ahead. And there you have it guys. We just made an Oxley type beat, fire fire something. And we used the big word Aphrodite drum pack. All the sounds came from there and the guitars were from the finest Afrobeat pack where I myself, Sean P and Liz guitars. I do hope you enjoyed yourself in today's video. Feel free to comment in the section what more you'd like to see, what you learned from this video. Let's interact. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. See you guys in another video. Bye. Fresh.